My name is Ken Corwin. and I teach the Michigan Mechanical Exam Prep course. And the 2021 code book is out. It took effect March 12, 2024. And I updated my workbook. And I'm going to cover this in a real quick video of some of the changes you're going to see. So the 2021 code book, there were some significant changes in here. I have created documents to show the changes from the 2015 and the 2018 International Code. And then from the 2018 to the 2021 Michigan Mechanical Code. So the layout is a little bit changed. Now the pages, instead of being numbered 1 through 80, are each one or dashed per chapter in the page after. So this would be 1-1. This would be 2-11. The other change I did is at the top of each chapter, they put what the scope of that chapter is going to be. So you look at the top of the chapters, you get to chapter 3, you will see it tells briefly what that chapter is about. So same concept of the code book, just a little bit different layout than was in the 2015. Tables are still in here, fuel gas tables are in here, not much change in that. But the big changes are here in the back. In the refrigeration chapter, a lot of changes here, where they totally move things around, uh, they totally rearrange this. A chapter and they also did the same in the hydronic piping chapter so there are some changes in this book uh, but pretty much easy to figure it out index in the back so that is a new book you can purchase it through the state of Michigan I would strongly suggest you do that go to the Michigan website purchase it through them and you will walk away with about $103 for the book if you purchase it through the International Code Council, it's closer to $150. Once that took effect, the 2021 International Fuel Gas Code took effect. So again, on this one here, I've done the same thing, gone through and looked at the code changes. Uh, this does not have as many changes, but they did do the same thing with changing the pages, uh, numbering them at the bottom. And they did the same with putting something at the top. So this does not have as many significant changes as mechanical code. Manual D residential duct systems, that still is the same. You look cover this book. This is the one you have, you are all set. When you open the inside cover, you're going to see version 2.5. You have version 2.0, whatever version you have, uh, that will work. They are still in the process of updating the Michigan Residential Code. Right now we're still under 2015. Michigan skipped the 2018 cycle. And they're in the process of updating to the 2021 Michigan Residential Code. So again, the concept of this code book was if all you did was one or two family dwellings, this would be the book you use. And we start in Chapter 13 for Mechanical. That's where we begin. And we end in Chapter 24, G24, which is actually the Fuel Gas Code. I have not seen anything on this book to the 2021 to see if they change the page numbers. I'm going to expect they will, but this will take effect once they finally get it together. And I know right now it's been approved in the public hearing. So because of that, I updated my workbook, Michigan Mechanical Code Exam Prep Workbook. Put all new questions in here based on the new code books with the code sections, with the code layouts. So this is the latest, greatest book dated June 1st, 2024. Still got the exam application part in the class. We're gonna cover this. Um, what you gotta do for your exam application to fill out the exam. Application submitted to the state. We're gonna talk about the PSI testing process, how all that works, what to expect. We're gonna cover the PSI computer part of the testing. And we're gonna look at the mechanical contractor's license exam materials. So the right now, the Michigan test is still based on the 2015 books, and that's of June 9th is today that I'm filming this. So right now, this is all the 2015 books. Once this gets updated, and the licensing division gets this updated, and it switches over to 2021, that's going to tell you that the new test has changed. Until this is updated, all your questions are going to be based off the 2015 code books. So if you're in the process right now of getting your license and you have the 2015 books, 
I would consider pursuing that path with the 2015 books. I do not know when they're finally going to get that um, taken care of. So this is the key right now. Once they do, I will update this in my book, and I will have these available. So we cover Public Act 230. Your five public acts that you have to remember for the test. We cover Public Act 407, Skilled Trades Regulation Act, how that applies to us mechanical contractors. Each test you have is going to have five to ten law-based questions. In this green workbook are all questions and answers. Again, show 75% pass rate. So for your 150 question test, you got to get 112 right. For your 55 question test, you've got to get 42 right. So you see five to 10 law-based questions, and there's 51 in here for you to study. Behind each section of this book is a master answer sheet. So you can take a look at these, study them, and here's your answers, tell where they are. For your test, you do not need to know the reference. In the class, we cover the International Fuel Gas Code. We're going to look at vending tables, gas piping tables, how to use a code book, index, table of contents. We're going to work through this section in class, not every question. We don't have enough time. But we're going to go through these questions in the class. And at the end of this section is, again, a master answer sheet. So we're going to cover 58 fuel gas code questions and how to use that book. Michigan Mechanical Exam. We're also going to cover the 2021 Michigan Mechanical Code Book. So again, do the same thing. We're going to go through the class. We're going to go through that book, work through it, index table of contents, go through some of these questions. Again, we won't hit every one. This section has 95 questions that we're going to go through. Most of your questions on your test are going to come out of this book. So we make sure you know how to use this book for sure. And all the other ones as well. Manual D, we're going to go through that book, see how to size residential duct systems, take a look at some formulas, and we go through this book in class as well. At the end of this book, as we go through the class, we're going to cover some questions. And so what we've done here in the book, in the back, is where there's a math formula, we put that in there, and you can see how to do it step by step. So at the end of this, there are two answer sheets, one for the 2.0 version, one for the 2.5 version. Heating service, if you're going to take a seating service, category 5 or 6, limited, unlimited. Here's questions in the book. Got a lot of oil questions on your test. There's a lot of oil questions in my workbook. So you can see some of them here. And again, at the end, master answer sheet. So there's 85 heating service questions in this workbook for you to work at for your 55 question test. And I also recommend going online to find in some NATE certification questions to help you out. AC service, category in here for that. So again, test, master answer sheet at the back. 93 questions in this workbook that are gonna be AC service related. And then in the end of the test is test number three. Test number three was designed and put in here so as you study for your test, Category 2 HVAC Equipment, the 150 question, 3 hour time test, when you study in this first part of the book and you think you are ready to go take your test, you sit down with your three code books and nobody else and you work through this test. I updated this test when I created the 2021, or I'm sorry, 2024 book here in front of me. It went from 30 questions, about 34 questions is where I ended. And now we go all the way up to question 76. So this has uh, more than doubled in size. And this test is the important one. When you feel you are ready, you sit down and take this test and see how well you do. Give yourself 1.2 minutes per question and see how you do at the end. And then here is the master answer sheet. So again, this is the 2021 workbook that I'm going to start using as soon as the state updates the references in the back. Once this sheet right here is updated, then we know that Michigan has updated their test. I got that information from the mechanical division themselves. So once we see this, go to 2021. 
and we'll see what are these standards are going to change and then we'll know which books we have to use besides our three main books so there's a quick update on the codes where we're at and I have turbo tabs that I have purchased turbo tabs can go on code books the PSI testing company allows these into the test rooms I will make different videos here shortly on how to install these tabs onto your code books and I will do that in a separate video.